Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Spectrum Drama, where we take a look at the hottest posts on Spectrum for the week and give our opinions on them. So before we get started, just a quick announcement. I am not well, uh, so if I sound like I'm talking through my nose, I apologise. Um, and um, we will be having an announcement hopefully over the weekend with regards to a new competition, so keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so first up we've got a post from Nemesis and it says, Reminder for those that are getting ready to flame CIG on the upcoming new flight model. And it says, it's alpha. <laughs> Things are bound to change. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, now you can go ahead and flame CIG, blah, 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 blah. So um, this is basically, I don't really know what the point of this post is, but I like that it brings up a thing that we can't really stand. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not really sure what this what this post is meant to be doing, but um, yeah. yeah, it's alpha. Yeah, we know, mate. Yeah, we know. We we feel it every day. I don't. Yeah, I mean, uh, fair enough, Nemesis. I understand what you're trying to do, but. Um, this really is just an excuse for people to reply to you um, because everyone knows this game's alpha. We're still going to moan if it's crap. You know, everyone's yeah. going to flame CIG regardless. Um, and I must admit, I've gotten to that point now where when someone. It, 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 do you remember there was a program called Alphas, um, which I liked oh, yeah. quite a lot? Um, there's, um, you know, a uh, you get Alpha Wolves, um, you know. All of that's destroyed for me now because of this poxy game. <laughs> <laughs> just just say alpha and my balls shrivel up and I die a little inside. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he's just put this up to um, try and start a conversation about the flight model, even yeah. though that I'm assuming this guy's an Eva Carty member, so he knows that everyone's NDA'd anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of pointless post. Yeah. Uh, Maybe trying to start a bit of drama yeah. in Spectrum. <laughs> Maybe, which we don't Maybe. mind. Give yeah. something to talk about. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we can't talk about it. So, no. uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Give it, give it a few weeks and then we'll be all over that. But for now, um, there's really no point. Everyone's speculating. And those who aren't speculating expect to be sued pretty soon um, <laughs> basically yeah. because um, maybe you should go google NDA so you understand what you signed um, and uh, <laughs> go from there it's kind of obvious you know some people are going to complain about it because there's always someone complaining about something oh yeah um, yeah it's kind of an exciting time for Star Citizen with a new flight model coming in very very soon um, yeah, there's no need to sort of start putting some doubt and worry into people before we've even got to that point. Just let yeah. them try it themselves and then we'll deal with the aftermath afterwards. Exactly. Stop. Don't fan the flames, man. There's just absolutely no need. Okay, so next up we've got a post from Surfside Graphics and it says, Death in Mag Boots. Like most here, I've recently been to season three of The Expanse lately. Not like most, not like me, I haven't. It will happen. Uh, a neat freak thing they showed a few times this season was someone getting shot and killed while in zero G wearing mag boots. It was jarring when a guy would get plugged in the head and just stand there with a blank expression and a gaping head wound. Um, I'd like to see a similar mechanic in Star Citizen with the return of mag boots. Shoot a person in zero G, they will not fall down, they will stick or float. Um, so it says since, since now I cannot unsee it um, I do I do like the idea of that the idea of being shot in space anyway is quite cool if it's a ballistic weapon just because of the way that blood and all the kind of things within your body work in zero G and all that so that's quite cool but yeah imagine yeah. that's just stuck to the side of a ship just or whatever <laughs> it'd just be quite weird <laughs> just taking him along for the ride <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is Dave he's my corpse <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I guess it would depend where you get shot by. But um, mm. I would have thought the, the force of getting shot would 
kind of send the body in a certain direction rather than just standing still. Yeah. If that makes sense. I suppose it depends. If you're mag locked to something, then fair enough. But if you are just if floating, your feet are. Yeah. But your body would still take the impact and move, I would have thought. It would, and I tell you what, I might even chuck this video up inside this video. We'll see how I feel. Um, but the first comment is uh, one of them um, crazy inflatable arm guys, you know, that's, <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that's pretty much what it would be like. The force would cause <laughs> every part of your body that can bend to bend and flop around where your feet would be glued <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of it. So, uh, But yeah, I think, um, I think mag boots are going to be an awesome thing, and I think... Um, I mean, I think it's going to be rare for you to be shot in zero G um, because you, most of the time you're going to be in your ship and when you're not in your ship, you're going to be in maybe very low gravity, but still some. Um, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what we'll yeah. see how it goes when they expand. Yeah, unless your your mission is like, you know, I don't know, a uh, debris field in the middle of the space somewhere where there's yeah. no planets or large masses then then yeah most of the time there's going to be gravity involved anyway yeah yeah although well, i do like the idea and um i'm definitely gonna to have to check out the expanse now because that sounds awesome <laughs> that's a good, really good show yeah all right that's on my list cool so the next post is from donati and it says it's going slow better uh just a quick disclaimer again this is about the new flight model which is either speculation or you're gonna be in a lot of trouble my friend so um <laughs> i don't really know yeah, he says i don't really know how to explain this so i'll try my best the fact that the new flight model is slower apparently in a way is better for me haven't played it yet he says just what i get from what they are saying whoever they are <laughs> i'm love i'm loving this post um i think the game is too fast to start with have you noticed that if you walk or fly slowly how much bigger and majestic the star and universe feels while if you run and fly fast it feels much smaller it's significant etc yes it feels like a waste of time if you don't run but real life is slow i don't know if that makes sense uh, it, it does i mean we've talked about this before in that you know if they sped yeah. everything up too fast the world would feel smaller so definitely 100 percent get what you're saying there um but again i mean unless you are speaking to um you, people who shouldn't be speaking i mean i know they have released a few bits and bobs about the fly model and um but i think um the the, the idea of it being slower um i don't i don't think they're gonna i don't think they're gonna slow it down and this is going from my opinion because again i haven't tried it um i just think that maybe things will change to maybe have you think um i don't even know i don't i'm, I'm speculating i'm gonna stop speculating and i'm gonna let you talk <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, in in the information they've given out, they haven't really sort of reduced the speed uh, as such. It's more the handling they were they were playing around with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, is going slow better? Well, yeah. If, if you want to sort of, in, well, no, that, that's not the right term. If you want to appreciate the scenery a bit more, then yes, mm. slower is better. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter too much in com. Well, uh, see, it's kind of relative because if we're all doing the same sort of manoeuvres and same speeds, then um, it, it could be as fast or as slow as you really want. Really, you know? yeah, it's all relative. I think um, there's there's a difference really between going slow and going careful for example um i mean i don't think that it's too fast at the minute uh, if anything some of the ships do feel sluggish um given that they're in space um but um yeah i think s uh, there is no possible way that they're going to slow ships down um i think that they are going to create situations in where you have to be more careful um, with the handling yeah. of the ship, basically, so that in it, in itself will probably slow comp slow you down if that makes sense. But yeah. if they're not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna slow the speed of your ship down. It's just gonna mean you're gonna have to think a lot further ahead 
when you want to make uh, any manoeuvres and stuff like that, um, which I think's going to be a, a good thing. Yeah, it comes down to the individual, doesn't it? Some people like to rush around and get things done as quickly as possible, while others like to take their time, relax, and uh, sort of take it all in, yeah. if you will. And when I'm driving Miss Daisy, obviously I want to I want to put it in in second and just cruise. Um, yeah. But um, you know, when I'm when I'm when the shit hits the fan, I want to I want to know that I can get my afterburn up quick and get the hell out of there. You know, so. Um, yeah, I think it is relative to what you're doing, but um, I, I wouldn't worry, Danae. I don't think they're going to slow anything down. I think that you're going to get the option to fly slower in combat with better manoeuvring, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, so last up we've got a post from Sintara, and it says, What can you do in a space flight except 3D circle strafing or jousting? So basically, what Sintara's saying here is um you know in traditional dogfighting there's there's certain things that you need to do in order to kind of get your opponent where you want them in order to be able to get as many bullets on target as possible um yeah. now that's not going to be the case in space um and he's saying um um what are we looking for when we talk about world war ii air combat experience in space well that doesn't exist because world war ii is was fought with planes that you know, have many, many different factors of gravity and all sorts of stuff, you know, that you need to consider. Um, space doesn't have that. And so the it's vastly, vastly different. Um, and the idea of this 3D circle strafing, that is literally what combat will be. It's either going to be distance shoot... It's going to be like distance shoot em ups where um, biggest guns win. It's I, Or it's going to be trying to keep your face pointing at your enemy and vice versa and you're just going to be spinning around in space trying to shoot each other that is that is the gist of it I think what do you think um yeah I kind of agree with you um yeah I mean there isn't really much else you can do um yeah the whole, the whole point is trying to keep your guns on the target mm. so everyone is going to be doing that same sort of strafing maneuver um Jousting, no, probably not so much jousting. Um, and I, I know that's a kind of a big thing right now, just because of the way the flight model is. But yeah, um, the, the whole idea, the new flight model, was to kind of reduce that jousting part of the combat. Um, so it's going to be coming down to kind of circle strafing, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure. I mean, that's kind of the way that all space films or any any sci-fi you've ever watched that is there's there's three there's three main types of fighting in space um that we've seen in any kind of literature or, or film or anything like that you've got like i said you've got the kind of the distance um my guns are bigger than yours type battle where they are just at vast distances shooting massive cannons and hoping for the best um, yeah then you've got the the joust like in a lot of um um star wars films you've got the joust where they kind of they fly at light speed towards each other pew 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 in um and then eventually they'll whiz past each other and but because there's such a large number of things to shoot you don't necessarily have to stick to the same target so that's no, kind just of, go on to the next one exactly so that's kind of the next type the third type is what you're talking about the 3d circle jerking uh, uh, strafing sorry um and uh, <laughs> it's basically um that's going to be the bread and butter of most people especially if they are newer to the game where they're going to yep. try and get that crosshair on their target and then strafe they're going to they're not going to be trying to fly fast they're going to be trying to fly um at a point where they're keeping their guns on target um there is another one there is a fourth option which is much, much harder to do because of how the turning works at the minute, which I think is going to change. Um, and that is to um, position yourself behind your enemy like you would, say, in a, you know, in a dogfight, um, you know, in, a, in, in, a, in the winner's position of a dogfight. Um, yeah. Get yourself behind your enemy and plough them until they cannot take them all. Um, but the likelihood of that happening is slim at the minute because it's very easy to handbrake turn pretty much in this game yeah. um which obviously you cannot do in the sky you know so um that those are the kind of the main types and i think that 
that won't change because the concept is always going to be the same of having this vast um, three-dimensional space uh, and you can go anywhere in any direction because you've got all these different thrusters so yeah that's that's my two cents anyway yeah i mean it really comes down to how cig are going to end up balancing the space combat if they're going to balance it on sort of one one v one fights mm. then i mean that is going to be a lot of jousting or, or strafing yeah that's just how it's going to be um but if they balance it using like 30 ships in a fight then it could be completely different yeah I mean, um, you, you picture the scene, like, you know, when uh, uh, in, in like Star Wars or all these types of films, um, where you get this giant ship that comes in. Whew, I'm doing the sound effects for you because, you know, I'm good like that. Um, so you get this giant ship that comes in. Whew, and then all of a sudden, you get a hundred thousand tiny little ships come out. Pew, 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 you know, and they're just yeah. all going mental, and space is just filled to the brim with people ready to die. Um, that kind of combat. Um, I don't think will be possible because obviously the servers are too small at the minute. Um, but if they could aim for that, then you're going to get that kind of um, just insane um, combat where you, you've, you, your target pool is so big, but also the the, the enemies you you never know whether you've got someone pointing at you or not. You know and that kind yeah. of thing would be terrifying, but awesome. Um, but I think that that's just that's maybe a bit too adventurous at the minute so um i think um i think we're gonna have to just make do with that kind of uh you know point your guns at them fire hope for the best yeah, they've, they've always wanted to get that sort of star wars big battle feeling to the game yeah so eventually that's probably what they'll they'll sort of go for but um at the moment like you say the servers can't handle that well yeah 50 people yeah um I suppose you could do, yeah. We haven't really tried that actually. A whole fifty-man light fire battle. No, um, it's definitely a lot of people do like big ships versus big ship, or yeah. big ship versus little ships. Um, I think uh, Rexilla might have done one uh, when they all had gladius. Yeah, gladii, gladii, glad, 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 glad I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That came up in an ATV. Of which one it was? I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> yeah. I um. I, I think. Um. Let us know actually in the comments if that is something that you think we should organise. Um. Not that we've ever organised an event before, but if everyone wanted to jump into a server and get into some light fires and just do some crazy dog fighting, uh, let us know because um, it'd be interesting to see if that's the kind of thing people are interested in doing. Because, um, like you said, most people want to get in a big ship um, and uh, and have these kind of like massive big ship v big ship battles, and um, it would be interesting to see what it's like with just a bunch of small ships. Okay, so there you have it. That's our posts for the week. Uh, we hope you like them, and we hope uh, that our opinions on them have given you something to think about. Um, if you've got any opinions on these, then drop them in the comments below, and we'll come back to you. We can have a back and forth about this stuff. Um, and as always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for some more Star Citizen content, and uh, we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.